Welcome to Last Said News. My name is Rob. Let's talk about Bonk. And Bonk, uh, if you haven't been hearing too much about it, it is a meme coin uh, which has been launched on the Solana ecosystem. And what I want to really talk about today is just, is this a lesson in hype or is it a lesson in utility? We'll take a look. So as you may know, Solana has uh, taken quite a bit of a beating lately as it's uh, been, of course, closely associated with uh, SBF and uh, FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried. And of course, as that happened, we saw a pretty big drop off for Solana. Now, over the last uh, 14 days or so, it's, uh, it's been pretty much of a, of a, a pretty big hit our last 30 days or so. We, were, we went from uh, $13 all the way back down to $8 and then back up to $13. Then, of course, it's going down again a little bit. So what happened? Well, this happened. Bonk happened. And Bonk is, again, it is a, it is a meme coin on top of like, a, say, like a Dogecoin or Shiba Inu or something like that. But it's amazing just how fast these projects can uh, gain notoriety. And this, uh, it was an airdropped. Uh, it started off here. I mean, it was nothing, I mean, not too long ago. And of course, there was the airdrop. And just from today is the, uh, I believe it's the 6th of January. So in not too much time, we've seen this token go from uh, obscurity to just a massive inflow. And then, of course, as all massive inflows happen, and he, if you want to take a look at bull or bear markets, it dropped back down. And uh, we've seen that the all time from the all time high from the peak, it's down almost 60 percent in roughly 24 hours. And that's usually what happens with these types of projects. So, I mean, the, the thing you have to ask yourself is, is, is what is bonk and, and, and what are the. Uh, tokenomics of it. And also, just real quick, over on uh, CoinGecko.com, they have this nice little little piece here that you can click on uh, where it talks about tokenomics right here. And if you click on tokenomics, you can see Solana's tokenomics, Bitcoin's, well, Ethereum's tokenomics, you can see Cardano's token. I mean, anything you really want to see, if it's in there, uh, will be the tokenomics for uh, that particular coin. And just so you know, the Solana tokenomics, I have nothing against Solana personally. I own some Solana. I haven't gone in super heavy. Uh, I, I'm pretty cautious in what I do, but you can see here that as far as like an allocation for tokenomics, Solana is looking pretty heavy on the foundation, 20%, seed sale, 25%, and a founding sale. 20%. You're looking at uh, 65% pretty much going to a small select few. Actually, even more so because you got to add in the team there. So 20, 20, 40, 65, 85. And of course, the public auction sale was 2%, street sale 3, and validator sale 8.2. And then underneath here, you're going to see an, an unlock schedule. Unfortunately for Bonk, if you take a look over here, and take a look at the tokenomics. Of course, since it's so new, it's not available. However, you go to the Bonk website, you can see that this is the tokenomics. And it says here, I, I did like this part. 50% of all tokens will be airdropped to the NFT DGENs and DeFi traders that fearlessly go to battle as the world outside crumbles. And you can see that uh, you can find this on their website, links in the description. And you can see here's a distribution. 20% goes to specific NFT projects. 15% uh, for traders, 10% artists and collectors, and 5% Solana devs. So you're looking at, uh, you know, pretty good amount uh, just going to that. But of course, Solana devs. Okay. Then 20% are early contributors. Early contributors are people who helped the launch, probably people they paid, which is how it goes. 5% future development, bonk DAO, initial liquidity and marketing. So I just thought it was interesting just how fast this uh, this had a big run up. And if you're if you're looking at hype and first utility, I mean, of course, you're going to get the memes, you know, bonk, me, Shiba Inu and type of stuff. But the thing that was fascinating to me was I just thought it was another dog coin, quite honestly. But if we take a look at it on their website, they do have some utility. And before anybody asks the question, no, I wasn't paid to do this video. No, they don't pay me. And of course, bonk, don't even reach out to me because I'm not going to promote you. But it is just something to take a look at about what's going on behind the scenes. So when we take a look at utility here, you got a couple ones that I thought was interesting. Aurori, 
play a Rory Tactics and earn Bonk for every victory. And of course, this is a Web3 game, which you can uh, you can uh, connect your your wallet to. I already did. Uh, I connected my uh, wallet itself, my Phantom wallet, and I was actually able to play a couple rounds of this game. So it's active right now. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, that's what you have. And also, if you're into gambling, I'm not. But uh, you got Boybook, whatever this is. And you can start to gamble on uh, different things and leagues and uh, soccer, it looks like, mostly. But then there's also another website, uh, Soul Casino, IO, where you can actually do some, like, real gambling. And, of course, it's it's not just a, it's not just Bonk. It's all the different tokens that are in the Solana ecosystem, Solana itself. But you can play, like, Blackjack and Poker Lobby and stuff like that, which I find interesting because even in, like, America, which we were very, like, hush-hush about uh, gambling unless you go straight to Vegas, there's a lot of different online uh, sites now that you can do that. And a lot of states have opened it up. So I'm just like, well, that's interesting. But you, you know, if you want to do that thing. Also, there's another one as far as a, a token market uh, where you can sell and buy a bonk. And this was interesting, uh, Radium, which is a, a decentralized exchange. I believe it's built on uh, Solana itself. I could be wrong there. but And you can see that uh, they've got total value locked up of, uh, what is this, $36 million roughly. But again, on DEXs, you got to be careful because even uh, Radium, uh, they just had an issue uh, roughly last kind of last month uh, when they had some kind of hack or something that happened. Portal can be used to claim asset compensation from the recent incident, liquidity providers or something. So, of course, be careful. And this is all, of course, on the integration. I just picked, up, picked out the most interesting ones. But this one was interesting. HelioPay. And this is built on Solana as well. Simple and secure payments are Web3 builders. And it says create a no-code checkout page, just a few clicks. You can integrate this. I mean, you can do that with everything. You can do that with PayPal now. You can do that with, like, even with Coinbase has an integration where you can take on uh, crypto payments, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stuff like that. It's very simple, just an HTML code. You stick it in there. But this one I thought I found interesting because it's all about Web3s. And it says here, no fees. And I thought, I like, I like that. Helio protocol is built on Solana with love. Transaction fee costs an average of 0. 0.0002. Now we're talking. And if we're talking about utility, like me personally, gaming, I'm not a big gamer, but some people are. I'm not a gambler. I'm, you know, you can buy stuff here, the decks, I suppose, but we're just kind of going in that same ecosystem. But if we take a look at payments wise, that's interesting. And if you deal with online payments like I do with my other companies, you'll know that like PayPal fees are ridiculous. I mean, invoicing, PayPal checkouts, you're looking at three and a half, two percent, three percent. You're looking at Visa. Visa is actually better, quite honestly. Visa is like around one percent plus, you know, it's usually like 2.99 percent plus uh, 30 cents transaction fee for for PayPal. And then here it's one point one percent. So again, you know, Crypto does fix that. And then, of course, the most, uh, and I always find this interesting, is there's one called MoonPay, which you can use uh, in your ledger to swap out cryptos and sell and like that. They're the worst, quite honestly. Their feeding and their transaction fees is 4% or 4.5% just to swap cryptos. I'm like, what are we doing here, quite honestly? So me personally, I despise MoonPay for just their egregious fees. I think they're outrageous. And that's what we're stuck with these days. In crypto, so Helio Trades, that's uh, what we have. So the big thing is just this. I just did this video real quick just to take a look at, was it hype or was it utility? Well, if you take a look at it, I mean, there is some utility that's being uh, built on, it's not just Solana, but just on, uh, on Bonk and what they're doing. But the thing is, will people actually use this consistently? And is, is it a game changer for as far as mass utility and adoption worldwide? No, it's not. But uh, you can get some people to be hyped up and really get into it. Unfortunately, like everything else, price goes up, price goes down. And I understand that, you know, people will say, well, you don't understand about Bonk and the community and so on and so forth. No, I, I really don't. I'm not in the community itself. So I can't really speak too much of that. Maybe it'll be awesome. Maybe people will start to, you know, use Bonk for everything. Just like, you know, Shiba Inu is supposed to be used for everything. And Dogecoin is supposed to be used for everything and, and so on and so forth. But uh, for me, I just take a look at it. I go, it's just an interesting uh, project, how they're able to uh, move things so quickly. And uh, on, all, on all honesty, uh, uh, the airdrop, 
which is a lot better than you know dogecoin we take a look at the concentration of wallets there not the best so i can see uh, some value there and uh, of course with the utility but that's what we have and uh before anybody asks no i will not be investing into bonk I, again i just thought it was an interesting uh, use case so that is it for today so look if you like today's video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing a lot of things we talk about are mostly the news but i like to just do like these pre-recorded ones just keep myself busy about what's going on in the ecosystem of uh, crypto like and subscribe thanks so much and i'll see you on the next one